Over 100 million people have signed up for Amazon Prime. It's a $119 a year subscription that gets customers things like free expedited shipping, music and movie streaming, as well as a lot of other lesser known programs. But is paying a premium to shop on Amazon actually worth it? The biggest feature that's included with Amazon Prime is its free two-day shipping, which the company says is offered on hundreds of millions of items, along with same-day delivery on certain items. But that's not the only way to get items shipped to you for free. If you don't mind waiting a little bit longer, non-Prime members can get items in five to eight days on orders over $35. Or competitors like Target and Walmart have upped the ante and now offer free two-day shipping on orders over $35, and you don't need a subscription. If you want to see how often you use your Amazon shipping benefits, you can download a copy of everything you've ordered over the last couple of years to see if it's really worth it. When I looked at mine, I found I did most of my shopping right before Christmas. So if you're mostly using Prime around the holidays like me, you can actually just subscribe to it for one month, which is only $13, and then cancel it after the new year. Prime also gives you access to its video streaming service, but Prime Video pales in comparison to Netflix. While Amazon is pouring about $5 billion into original content in 2018, Netflix says it will invest $8 billion into premium content. And cable cutters are starting to take notice. A survey by Morgan Stanley revealed that 39% of consumers said Netflix has the best original programming, while Prime Video only scored 5%. Another thing you get with Prime is its basic tier music service, which includes free streaming of around 2 million songs. However, that doesn't even come close to Spotify's free service, which has around 40 million songs you can listen to, if you don't mind the occasional ad. Prime membership will also now give you an extra 10% off sale items at Whole Foods, as well as some additional weekly deals. If you exclusively shop at Whole Foods, these savings will definitely add up over time. But for the rest of us, the savings are probably only a couple of dollars here and there. On a recent trip to Whole Foods, I didn't save anything using my Amazon Prime discount. Amazon also offers a number of smaller benefits, like the ability to rent one free ebook for your Kindle every month, unlimited subscription to the video game streaming service Twitch, and a discount to the Washington Post. So is Amazon Prime worth it? If you're someone who makes a lot of small purchases on Amazon, the convenience of the free two-day shipping is invaluable. But if you rarely shop on Amazon, and you don't mind waiting a couple extra days to get your stuff, then you should definitely save your money. And who knows, without the convenience of free two-day shipping, you might even find yourself spending a little less money shopping online. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.